in the light of his word what a glory he shares on the way for when we do his will he abides with the still and for all who Not a shadow can rise, not a cloud in the skies, but a smile quickly drives it away. Not a doubt nor a fear, not a sigh nor a tear, can abide while we trust and obey.
Amen. Amen. God Almighty God, Joshua 7, verse 6. Let me get my ideas for oh God Almighty God, for God is indeed worthy to be praised. Hey, God Almighty. Verse 6. And Joshua, and Joshua rent his clothes and fell on the hurt upon his face before the heart of the Lord until he died. And he and the elders of Israel put dust upon their heads. Can somebody say it's quite a time in the house? Can somebody say it's prior time? In the house. Yes, God. Oh, God, she God. You can sit in the presence of the most I know. Lord, we thank you for your fire today. And we thank you, Lord God, that it is prior time, my she God. When we look in the book of Joshua and we see where the Israelites, they just came out of victory in chapter 6. They conquered in God Almighty God, Jericho. They put Jericho to dust. They put Jericho in God Almighty God under the subjection of the Almighty God. Victory was there. Israel was celebrating. Israel in God Almighty God have they got a testimony.
Yeshua. Amen. He got a mighty God. But there was a command that God gave to Joshua to Moses also. I said, look here. When you go over into the promised land, do not take the accursed things. For the accursed things will bring the destruction upon you. Hey, God Almighty. What is the accursed things that you have?
They're dancing loud. They're keeping a party. They're congregating the against the floor. And they're laughing. What, what, what is wrong? Hey, God, I'm not cheaper. What is wrong? Something is wrong with the picture. Something is wrong, but it's not Jehovah God. Hey, God, nothing is wrong with Jehovah God. My God. My God. My God. Just the face, the storm of defeat. Yes, 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 yes. Israel faced the storm of defeat.
my life. God's about to choose. God's about to choose. So Joshua took his answer. You see, when you go on prayer and fasting, when the Lord said, get up, it means that revelation is about to come. And God says, sin is in the house. God said, get rid of sin. Sin is causing you, hey God Almighty, sin. Hey God Almighty God. And the captain and the army of heaven want to fight for you this day. It's not man is going to fight for you. It's the reaction of the army of heaven. So get up. Get up. Sister Michelle, a million times, we know what is going on. But because we want friend, and we want to keep friendship and maintain friendship, Stay in the camp of God in you. Hey Jehovah God. Everybody know that Mama Bev is my prayer partner. Mama Bev would like you to come up here. Hey God Almighty God. Hey God Almighty God. For if Mama Bev does something wrong, I'm gonna look her in her eyes because I wanna reach heaven. And I want her to reach heaven. And I'm gonna say, Mama Bev, you're all right. Drop! 
I said, Mommy, I fool this and I'm giving it to your life.
and said, Hey God, when I was in Jericho, I saw the goodly Babylonian garments, the gold and the silver, and, and I covet that word. I covet it. Rev, if we know that, oh God Almighty God, what was written on the tablet, the Ten Commandments of the Ten said, Thou shalt not covet. Amen. When you covet, it put you up to, oh God, the ninth one. You're going to murder, you're going to lie, you're going to commit sin.
when the doctor told me that I could not conceive, it was prior. And I stole on my nest. I said, hey, 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 God, let me tell you something. I tell you something real good. I need a testimony. I stood up in this church yard and I held up my hand before God in front of the man of God. Praise the man of God. I said, look here, God, let me tell you something. I tell you something good. I need a testimony to come out of this womb. I need a testimony that God, you are not being faithful. I said, God, I'm not going to say I went to Dr. Kuntani and Dr. Kuntani and plus the prayer that she got. God, I want it in natural way of God. And it was a Sunday afternoon. I said, I think you upon me. I said, I don't want to bite your meal. I don't want to bite in this story. I went to my husband and my son. He knew me and John Mommy is history here. And he found me like this. as you and they have gone into the graveyard and the plantation of wickedness have come over you hey God almighty God Reverend and rock my head jump up in the field broke the coconut tie them away to the club and dance over your yard and say what goes can't stop you why? because God is Israel have made a promise to Aaron, Isaac, and Jacob. And the promise must be fulfilled through you, Joshua. God is saying, Remember, I, God, have sent in the past road to fulfill your mantle and your mandate. And no way can tell it in it. Joshua was a form. Of Moses. And I'm standing as a servant of the living God. And if the anointing of God is upon my life today, I speak to every acorn that are in our lives. And I stone you out right now. I stone you with the blood of Jesus Christ. Of and I know you have stoned you out, but I burnt you. Because they say when they stole the acorn, they burn me. Pre adventure, right? When they stoned Paul, they thought that Paul was dead and they draw him out of the city. But Paul only got a knockout. of God that I want us to fulfill 
his promises unto you. And I remember I come up to growth. When God made a promise to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, he swore by his own name. Because there was no name in the heaven that was above him. None on the earth was above him. None beneath the waters of waters that are beneath was the longing. So he swore by his own name. That what God is doing in that show to be. God is saying that I am here today to reveal who I am. The captain of the army of God. Some of that found the answers. I've learned to pray. Somebody needs to learn. To pray. Somebody need to call upon Jehovah God because things are happening. The enemy tried to kill John Mark in my pool, but God stand watch around the home. The enemy tried to kill. But I just move and I live in red ground. I saw where witchcraft was so big evidence was there. And the day I live in that house, the November, the time of December, doctor said that I will not live. That is 2014. Doctor gave me over to the spirit of death. They call my family and tell my family to say goodbye to me. Everything went to be why. But while I was on the hospital in the bed, where the Lord showed me where they plant and did some blood sacrifice on my gate because they wanted the lamb. But the promises of God is true. They are meant to be. When I got out of the hospital, I could take up some things that they have found in my yard. They are meant to be. The enemy points in their finger and say, You will not achieve what I came to you. I know that our time is here, but I'm talking to you at this time. The enemy said you will not achieve, but God said you will make it. The Lord said that you are a whole of God by his blood. They got a mighty God, and they got your home through so much. But let me tell you why you are a whole of God, said God. God said you are a whole of God because you did not stay down. The enemy said you must close in. The first of suicide and loneliness was the honor of the day, but here you are in the